Aaliyah, this is for you. Um, any more sore after today's game than, than you've been in a while? It's It just really seemed like a dogfight out there today. Um, yeah, it was physical, but no, I'm all right. And just a, a quick follow-up to that. Uh, being able to just limit Shakir the way you guys have been able to in three games uh, this year, uh, just talk about the, the just the defensive performance that you guys have had against her, uh, as not only yourself, but also V and Camilla and even L.A. when she gets her opportunity as well. Yeah, um, we just wanted to make it difficult for her the entire night, um, make sure she uh, felt us on every time she touched the ball. And so that's what we did over the course of the games. This is for either of y'all just in the fourth quarter, you know, what goes into kind of maintaining the leads that you guys build up, especially, you know, in the third, when you came in uh, 23 points, I think, and then just kind of what, what goes into that and what, what are some of the things you guys are hoping to learn from it? Um, I think the key word that the coach harps on us is discipline. We got to be disciplined. Um, it's tournament time. So we're going to get the best um, from our opponents. So we got to be aware that when crunch time comes, they're going to, try to do anything they can do to get back in the game. So um, it comes back to discipline and we'll make sure that we're um, a better team coming forward. This is uh, for both of you. Uh, what, what was the key to that fourth quarter? What was Ole Miss doing that um, held you um, the folks scoreless from the field and um, also uh, forcing eight turnovers? I think a lot of it, it's just about us, just making sure that we are just handling the pressure and doing what we know um, that we need to do. And so we're just going to work on improve, improving that. For either of you guys, I mean, what, what is this grind like? I know you guys have gone through this, of course, with the SEC tournament, but being able to, to get to this point and then obviously, you know, playing in tomorrow's game, how do you guys mentally and physically be able to, to stay prepared? I think it's just knowing what you want. I mean, we came into this tournament knowing that we want to make it to Sunday and win the um, entire tournament. And so just knowing that that's on the front for, front of our mind and just staying focused. Uh, and just to follow up with that, uh, Aaliyah, how, how, much does, how good does it feel to be back in that game, coming here with that goal to now know that you're in the, tomorrow's game with a chance to, to add another piece to this puzzle? Yeah, it's really exciting. This is one of our goals that we set um, at the beginning of the year. And so now it's here. With the team getting off to a slow start today, did you come in with the mindset that you, that you really needed to get something going as soon as you got in there? Um, yeah, not necessarily on the offensive end, but just making an impact um, on a defensive end as well making an impact, communicating, just doing the little things I can do to help my team win. That's all we have for you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll open questions for coach. Hi, coach. Um, I want to know what it is about Coach Yo and her team that will um, always give you a run for your money. Um, I mean, they're disciplined. I mean, they're relentless. They, they don't take plays off no matter um, what the score is. And um, uh, they're committed. They're committed to running their sets. They're committed to defending. They're committed to making you feel uncomfortable. And they do it for 40 minutes. Hey, Don, I wanted to ask about the 22 turnovers. I know that's, you know, looking at the stat sheet, something that you're really going to focus on. And, you know, is it is it burpees? You know, what is it that you guys are going to do, you know, between between now and the rest of the tournament to get that bug, you know, back off? Because we've seen in the past, you know, it, it's gotten better and then it's coming back. Just kind of what, what, what goes into that with turnovers right now? You said burpees. <laughs> we got less than 24 hours to get ready for an SEC championship game up. Uh, I mean, we watch film. I mean, we, we just have to point it out. We got to look at it. And, and, you know, I don't, I mean, I don't, I mean, it's a decision, you know, our turnovers were, were bad decisions and we just, we have to be better as a collective group. Um, I mean, I got to be better with making sure we got the right lineup out there. Um, and we just lost the momentum. And when you, when you're playing, you know, a caliber game, like we're playing, you know, it's, it's hard. I mean, it, this, the swing of a mo the momentum is it's hard to get back once you've had it. And that's actually what happened to us.
Hey, Don, just going off of that, what did you see change between the third and fourth quarters that saw that lead go from 23 to just 10 by the final? Yeah, we got hesitant. They, they got more aggressive and we, we just got more cautious. Um, and we just, the, the, the court closed down on us and we, we just did not make good decisions out there on the floor. And I mean, we tried to get different combinations in there, but once they had the momentum, I mean, you have to, you got to ride it out. And I thought we, yeah, we hit some free throws in the fourth quarter because that's all we got. We didn't get a field goal. Um, I don't think we, I don't think we got the ball to the right people um, to make the right decisions, and we got to be better with that. Don, did the did the locker room after today's game did it did it feel like it normally feels after a win, or was there just a tinge maybe of some disappointment in there as well? Yeah, I mean, obviously we don't like to play bad basketball. I mean, bad basketball puts you in a bad mood. Um, we got to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. I mean, I, I know we won't play this bad tomorrow. We're going to figure out. We're going to figure out a combination that will get us to play the kind of basketball we need to play to secure another SEC tournament championship. John, I think on the outside, some people just just assume, all right, South Carolina, they just they get to this point every year. You know, seventh time in eight years that you guys are playing for an SEC championship. Being able to have that type of quarter that you guys had today, how much can that be? added motivation and maybe just a, a little bit of a wake-up call for the players to be able to give them that extra edge as they go into tomorrow's game? I mean, the core group of our players have have been here. They know they've experienced it. Um, so they'll be ready. It's just the ones that haven't been here before that really don't, they don't understand um, how hard it is because they've, they've, you know, it's like a trust babies. <laughs> They're born in the money. Um, you know, some of our youngsters were born into um, what we've been able to do over the, the past couple of years in our league. And um, when you haven't really, when you don't know, you just kind of assume and just think that, oh, it's just, this is how it is. It's, you know, you talk to Aaliyah, you talk to um, LA, you talk to, you know, some of the players that have been here, this is their third year being here. And they don't, they know, they don't know any different than playing on, in a championship game they're going to pull everybody else. They're going to pull the weight of everybody that really doesn't understand um, what it is to win um, an SEC tournament championship. And, you know, I, I almost equate it with competing for a national championship. So that's the seriousness of, of wanting to win a, an SEC tournament championship. Hey, Don, putting together kind of the answers from two of the earlier questions, you said that the turnovers were bad decisions and that you guys got hesitant. I'm curious how sort of interlocked those two things are. You guys are such a competitive, aggressive team. Is it easier to make bad decisions when you're sort of uncharacteristically like on your heels? Yeah, when it when it rains, it pours. It's like, I mean, you 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 want to think you, you know, you have enough poise to, to stop the bleeding, but I mean you, you get a little tighter. Um, you don't want to make a mistake and you end up um, making, you know, big mistakes. Um, you know, and I, I, I thought I'd, you know, put a lineup in that probably shouldn't have been in that in the fourth quarter, just um, just trying to get some people, some experience um, playing at this, this level. But I thought I, I thought I had enough experience on the floor, but our experience were the ones that started the, the downfall of this and, but they'll 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 bounce back. They'll bounce back. There's there's no doubt about um, them bouncing back and, and and playing better basketball. That's all we have. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.